Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the time clock on Humanity. So you just go to your app here, click on time clock, and then your time sheets will show up here. Um, I work Monday and Tuesday. I'm actually gonna delete this one, so we don't need that one right now. And then you can also look at previous time sheets for other weeks. So you can go like last week, I worked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then you can click on them and it'll give you the information for that day. So it will say Tuesday, I worked in Maple Grove, my shift was from eight to six for assisting, clock in, clock out time, um, my position, my break time, and the location where it was at, and then how long the shift was for. Let's go back. So this week I'll click on this one. This was yesterday for me and it shows me all my information for yesterday's shift. If I need to edit anything in here, I can just click on the edit button up here. And I can change anything from here. Um, so I can change the position if it was say somewhere else. Um, I can change my clock in and clock in time or clock in and clock out time from here. I can change my break time. So you just delete your break time and add a different break if it was different than that. And then just click update. And we'll go back. So if you forget to clock in and clock out for a certain day, um, just go to that day and click the little plus sign up here and you can add in a time clock. So you just fill in all this information right here for that day. And then for your break, just go to notes and add your break time into your notes. So if it was an hour long, 50 minutes long, put how long your break time was for, and then just put forgot the punch out for lunch break. And then just hit done. And then also for notes, um, some other things that you can add in there is um, if you just forget the clock out for lunch in general for a certain day, you can just go to your notes um, at the end of the day for that shift and add in your um, lunch break time. Um, and just, just put, you know, for at the clock out for lunch and then put how long your, your lunch break was for. Also, if you ran, uh, say your lunch break was only for 30 minutes and that day, um, put reason why it was only 30 minutes instead of an hour long, um, just put patient took a little bit longer with cleaning, ran into lunch, or patient took a longer with dental procedure, ran into lunch. Um, also, if you were scheduled until five and you clocked out at 5.30 for that day, put reason why you clocked out at 5.30 or if you clocked out at 5.20, um, just put again, patient ran in, um, patient took a little bit longer with cleaning than expected, or, you know, I helped clean up the office and close down the office for the day, I ran a little bit later. Just put the reason why for us. Um, that's just important for us to know. And we can get out of there. And then for clocking in and clocking out for your shifts, um, just go to clock up here. And then it will say your shift right there. And then you can just click clock in. And then for your break, just um, click take a break. And then at the end of your break, just click resume shift. And then at the end of the day, just click clock out. And this won't show up at all. It's just showing up now because I don't have a shift in here. But then that um, timesheet should be added in for that day. And you can go to my and it will be right here. You can also clock in from dashboard. Um, you can just go to dashboard and it will say clock in and you can just click on that as well. So I think that is about it. I think I covered everything. So I hope this helps you guys.